Hello everybody. Today I want to talk about something exciting. You might have heard of all the new things coming up, new DSP plugins, the Tone X from IK Multimedia. But there's something else. It's an open source project called Guitar ML, machine learning from for rock and roll. And it's accessible through guitarml.com. And they have different software products. The latest product is a pedal called Pro Tears. And this is the latest and the ones I think you should use. There are different individual amps. There's a version for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, there are some pedals. There's the old Smart Pedal. But I think you should use the Pro Tears version because it's the latest and it's good for the CPU usage. The nice thing about the Guitar ML pedals are, first of all, it's free and you can capture any pedal, any amp um, with this uh, open source project. You can download the capture utility. Actually, there are very good videos from the creator of the Guitar ML. I think you should check those out. I will link them down in the description. There's also a tone library for the Guitar ML and you will find a couple of already existing uh, tones. There are knob captures. Those are captures with different gain settings um, for very refined uh, model. And there are also snapshot captures that capture one distinct gain setting. Of course, they can reduce and increase the gain as well, but they are more simple. If you're wondering, yes, this capture is one that I did. And also I did help with the visuals of the user interface. So I'm glad that I could contribute to this great project. Okay, let's jump into Cubase and listen to a few sounds. First of all, let's start with the Dumble. This is a Dumble clean capture I made from a well-known plugin. And this is a 808 clone capture I made for my real device. And I have a gate in front of it just to get rid of the noise and just a tiny little bit of reverb to have a natural sound. Okay, let's give it a try. By the way, the sound you're hearing now is the exact sound I used on the rhythm guitar on the intro track. Now let's have a listen with a different guitar, with humbuckers, the same settings. On the Mark II C Plus, we have a parametrized model. 
but also this is a direct out model. So I'm using the torpedo wall of sound to give me a nice impulse response with a good sound. In front of the Mark II Plus, I have a XCOM compressor from Guitar ML. It's not engaged just yet. Let's have a listen to the Mark II on a low gain setting. When I increase the gain, you will hear how well the pedal responds to the gain settings. Compressor really helps with like some shred solos, and so this is a nice thing to have. So let's compare the model with the, the real recording. A nice thing about the guitar male is that you do not need to own the real amp. You just need to know somebody who knows the real deal. So you can ask him to run the included capture utility audio file through his amp, send the recording, and then you can use this recording um, in conjunction with the capture utility to create the model of the amp. So this is very convenient. You know somebody who has a great amp, you want to capture the great amp, send them the WAV file, make them record the amp for you, and the rest is up to you to create a great model. So let's listen to a direct comparison between the recording I got from somebody who owns a Mark II C Plus amp and the model I created from that. Okay, here we are for the comparison. Let me explain the setup first. The first track is the clean source signal. I've added a maximizer because otherwise the signal would be too low, you wouldn't really hear it cloud. The source audio is part of the signal I use to create the model. So the second channel is the actual recording I received from a friend of mine. He ran the signal through his amp and it's, it's a direct out from a Mark II C+. And the third track is again the source audio file. You can see it's the same waveform with a Proteus model. And the second and the third track both use the same impulse response loaded into the torpedo wall of sound. So we have a nice, pleasant guitar sound. So let's have a listen at the first uh, round of sounds. Very, very slight difference, but it's probably unnoticeable in a real mix of a sound. Okay, let's listen to the last section. Again, you could hardly hear 
when the order switch between the Mark II C Plus and the Pro TS plugin. So I'm very happy with the results. Okay, that's it for today. Enjoy. Have a great day.